We need your support. Click the like buttons below. Now on to the video. Welcome to readtheticket.com. Today we're going to investigate the possible chance of funds flow out of the United States back to the pound, the euro and the yen. This has been the best party in town since 2012. You have a rising stock market and you have a rising US dollar. Percentage gains in stocks and percentage gains in currency have done well for those non-US residents. But things are changing. Europe's starting to realise that negative interest rates does not generate demand, does not generate growth. Sweden is one of the first to start considering to raise interest rates, regardless of their employment situation. You have Brexit and Boris Johnson winning the um, UK election with an idea to leave Brexit. Brexit, sorry, so that's um, a conclusion of activities going on there. I'm sure it's not going to be plain sailing, but you know, there's a conclusion going on there that things coming forward. So therefore, the risk associated in Europe of the euro going down has is beginning to change. Meanwhile, in the United States, you've got a re reverse to um, return to Federal Reserve balance sheet printing. All their balance sheet reduction by QT is most likely to be reversed after this repo period. So they're planning to do $500 billion in the next 30 days. They've already done about $250 billion, And it's going to end up resulting in a higher Fed balance sheet than when they started QT. So it's QT forever. The Fed is not tightening. It's not a haven for strong money or the pound of the US dollar. So therefore, there's some adjustment coming. So like I said, this is the greatest party in town. Higher stocks, higher currency. But that party has been priced to best possible levels and some repricing should see some funds flow out of the United States and maybe a lower US dollar. So the point is, some money managers may consider to leave before the hangover starts. Let's have a look around. Here we have Germany, the low euro, stocks going sideways. So if you've invested in the States, you've enjoyed a pretty good run since 2012. And you'll be looking at portfolio and going green on the screen. Time to consider your options. Same with Japan, the low yen. Same thing. Bring your money home. The United Kingdom, even a stronger case. The pound has been crushed with the uh, concern over Brexit. You've had your money in the uh, United States. Brexit deal will be done. And investments into the UK should be strong because of the clarity of the ability and their freedom, hopefully, to do deals between the UK and anybody who they wish to. And also maintain a presence in Europe. I believe this is underpriced and some money will come back here into Europe, uh, sorry, to the UK, to find a home and get to work. Now one of the reasons that uh, money is going to be leaving, could leave the, the grand old party, the United States of the currency rise and the, and the stock market rise, is that the blue, the blue line here is the US 10-year yield compared to the German 10-year yield. And the red line is the United Kingdom 10-year yield versus the US 10-year yield. And the uh, green one is the Australian. And as you can see, wherever the blue and the red line rolled over, even with the green one, the blue and the red and the green, blue and the red, as the green one starts to pivot, the money flow has gone out of US stocks and there's been a bit of a turn. See here? Doesn't really relate down here because this is a period of massive, um, massive inflation. This is you know late uh, in the seventies, well, nineteen eighty. So, I'm just looking at the last three turns. So, the point about it is the party's at extreme to avoid the hangover. This last rally up 
which could last a year. We have to watch for funds flow moving out of America back to the pound, the euro, and the yen. One of the main reasons is that people will be recognizing that you might, the United States is in a late economic cycle. Sorry, a late economic cycle. And that is very well expressed when US wage growth on a percentage terms is greater than US GDP growth on percentage terms. So you see when the red line, this is the wage growth here, is greater than the blue time, blue line, sorry. Red line greater than blue line. Red line greater than blue line. Consistently red line greater than blue line. Red line greater than blue line. The economy does not do well when the percentage growth of wages on a year-over-year -year basis is greater than GDP growth. Now, I'm, and, you know, for, the point is, uh, stocks still can continue on. There's an election on, and Trump's doing all he can to um, get some sort of stimulus going to hold up. Uh, we're talking uh, money for farmers. We're talking talk of China trade deal, all that sort of spoofing up of the stock price. Lower US dollar, of course. But the, as I said before, is that to avoid the hangover, big money, big money players will realise that the UK is not so bad anymore, maybe the Europe's not so bad anymore with idea talk of raising interest rates because we realise that negative interest rates, interest rates don't work. And the Japanese must be seeing the same thing. They'll be seeing that America's in late cycle and to avoid the big hang, hang, hangover, they'll be bringing, starting to bring some funds home. One chart, I think, which um, also shows this change about, is the NYSE margin level. Here we have the NYSE. That's 2007-2008 global financial crisis. Rally up, and here we are now. The advance and decline index, still very positive. This is concerning. This is the NYC margin, rather large change in the margin. That means people have already decided to reduce their margin debt or risk off. So I go up here and put the new high up there. Boom. We're still making new highs up here. As you can see, the margin started to be reduced before the new highs was made. Obviously the best thing things was around there, but as you can see here, there's been a massive change in margin in the accounts of the NYC. Another late cycle event, this reduction here, was on concerns of the slowing down of the global economy, and this rip up here, the rip between here and here, is I think is, yes, that's the uh, Trump money election Stimulus through tax cuts and obviously China helping out along the way. So there's a lot of signs that, at the moment, that funds will flow from the party in the US of A, with a higher stock market and a higher currency, will start creeping out while stocks are high, because you're selling into the upswing to bring stocks. Sorry, to bring money home on a value basis to Germany, Japan, and the United Kingdom. So, big money moves the markets, and this is definitely big money. So therefore, come January, after the, after the end of year, Wall Street have managed to secure their bonuses. We'll have to watch out and see what happens, but this is a theme we should all be aware of. Thanks for watching.